Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope you all are well. I am back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a purple chrome set. The acrylic powders that I will be using are going to be No Houses Magenta, their Soft Life, which is one of their newest ones, and in this crown dish here is Mia Secrets Cover Pink Acrylic. I also have on No Houses 3XL Taper Square Tips, and I'm using their size 16 Kalinske brush and their Pro Monomer, as always. Anyone interested in shopping, No House can find the link to their site in the description below, and use my code PORSHA for savings. So for today's video, it's pretty much going to be a quiet one, but I do want to explain quickly what I'm going to be doing. So as of right now, I am going in on the ring fingernail with, again, Mia Secrets Cover Pink, and I'm going to be making that entire nail nude as well as the index fingernail and the thumb because I will be creating French nails on those. After that, on pretty much the remaining nails, I'm going to be creating an purple aura effect that you know like the airbrush effect that's been going around but i'm gonna attempt it with acrylic i've never tried airbrush and i don't own an airbrush and i wanted to attempt it with acrylic to see how it looked it was something that i had in mind but then i also did after i had it in mind i did see someone do it and shout out to kiki noted because she does an amazing job at doing them with acrylics they're so bomb but um that is what i'll be attempting on the other nails which you all will see but i want to go ahead and let you guys enjoy this application
All right, y'all. So I wanted to mention right here and a little bit further into the video, I did not notice that I was out of frame. You still can kind of see what I'm doing, but I did not notice until like the very last minute that I was out of frame. So I'm so sorry for that. However, right now, like I told you all, I am going in with the No Houses Soft Life, which is a lighter purple. And I'm going to be ombreing the darker purple, which is magenta, um, in the center of it um up and downward to create that aura airbrush or tried i attempted y'all i really did try and i think it didn't work out how i wanted to because like or i mean how i wanted it to because of the darker purple magenta um i did attempt this before with different colors and um it worked out pretty good so i think it was just a darker purple that didn't work out as well as i wanted it to but i just went with it i wasn't gonna um not do it or restart it or whatever um i just went with it we're not perfect you know what i'm saying so yeah but i'm gonna let you guys see how i achieve this look
Okay, y'all, so that is how it's looking so far, and I think I would definitely say it's the purple that didn't blend so well how I wanted it to, um, or maybe it was me, I don't know, but I really think it's the purple, because I, like I told you all, I attempted this before with a different color, and it worked out perfectly, but anywho, I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate that now, and then move on into shaping and filing. Also, the clear that I'm using to encapsulate is Mia Secrets Clear. All right, you all, so this is how we're looking after application. And I did want to pop in and say that this will be the set where I make the entire set um, the moon shape, like the moon curve shape or whatever. Um, you all requested that I do a, you know, like all of the nails, the curve I like to do on my thumb. Some of you all know I like to do a curve on my thumb. And you all asked me to do a whole, like, set like that. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. And I'll show you all just how I achieved it. This is my first time doing this moon curve shape um, on the entire set. And I wasn't sure at all just how I was going to do it um, because I never really seen it done. And, you know, I just never done it before. However, I did just go ahead and use my drill, which which I think that is the right way. I, like I said, I've never seen anyone do the shape actually, so I don't know. I know for my thumb, though, I do just use the files to do it, but I can't do it that way with the other ones because it's just impossible the way my wrist and hands are set up. So I went ahead and used my electric file. You all will see that here in a moment. All right, so as you all can see, that is how I like to do my thumb with the hand file. And then I go in and just clean it up with the e-file. However, I'm going to go in on the remaining nails and just do it all with the e-file. And basically what you all will see me do is literally press the e-file into the bottom of the nail and keep going up until I get the curve that I desire. Um, someone asked me if it was hard to do. It wasn't really like the first time trying this, it was... um like it took some getting used to and learning how exactly to position and um you know like file on the nail but i think it came out pretty pretty okay like i think it came out okay and it was just it was just kind of a little bit um 
tedious to make sure that they were all the same type of um length that makes sense and that you went in the center of the nail making it a curve instead of going too much on one side and things like that um also i think something i would have done different is um curve the nails out a little more towards the edges like on the left and right side because the way that i did it it kind of looks like from the side that it was just like curved in the center if that makes sense like and on the sides it was still like squared out or like um if that makes sense like it was still square shape if you turn it from the sides it wasn't like one like sharp clean curve all the way through like from edge to edge if that makes sense it wasn't that noticeable at all but i'm just saying like i noticed it and that was one thing that i would do different next time All right, you all. So this is how we're looking so far. Now we're going to get into the nail art. And for the remaining of this set, I'm going to be using three gels. It's going to be Nail House's Pastel Purple, their Grape Soda, and then it's going to be Madame Glam's Light Lilic. I'm going to start with some Frenches. I'm going to do some Croc and some Flames and some Chrome. Um, the Chrome that I will be using is actually from, it's a liquid Chrome from AliExpress that I got in the set. It's, I think it's the number one. It was a blue Chrome that you all, like a blue purple Chrome that you all, um voted for me to use when i made a um, post on the community tab so that is what i'm going to be doing and for the most part i'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch the process and pop in when i need to explain something and of course the liner brushes that i'm using are from nail house and it's their size 25 mm and their 12 mm
all right y'all so i want to explain that for this french here i'm going to be creating a flame design over it a purple flame design using again nail houses grape soda and that diagonal line you all just saw me draw there across the bottom it's just kind of like a guide to ensure that one of the flames is higher and the other is lower shout out to nails by honey for that tip i'm gonna fill it in um cure it for 30 seconds only whenever you're dealing with chrome you want to only cure the gel beneath it for 30 seconds if you care for more than that let's say you do the regular 60 second um time then when you go to apply your chrome it will not stick that gel underneath still needs to be a little bit tacky so that you're able to apply the chrome um like full coverage after that you all are going to see me apply the chrome and you all will see actually after i apply the chrome i'm going to cure it again for another 30 seconds just to ensure that the purple flame is cured all the way if that makes sense because remember we only cured it for 30 seconds to ensure that the chrome stick and then cure it for 30 more to make sure that the uh, gel is fully cured and when i apply the chrome and i'll wipe off the um and I cured it, then wiped off the excess with a little bit of alcohol. You all will see that some of the chrome came off in some areas. Or maybe you won't see, but it did come off a little bit in some areas. And what I did was put some of that liquid chrome on the palette, got a liner brush, and I kind of filled in the flame where it was missing. And then after that, I'm going to move on to the designs on the remaining nails. I also do want to point out that you all will see me apply the chrome with the applicator brush that it comes with. However, I do go in with a little sponge applicator just to rub it in. I feel like that does it more. Like, I don't know. I feel like using the sponge. I feel like you're supposed to use a sponge afterward and just rub it in because it doesn't, it doesn't do the job with the applicator brush that comes with it. Because the applicator brush that comes with the liquid chromes are kind of like the brushes that comes like, um, like a lip gloss stick or something like lipstick or lip gloss stick like those kind of brushes so like i said i just go in with the little um eyeshadow sponge or whatever to spread it correctly or like really good but anyway and also if you all want me to um link those like i told you all i got these chromes from a set um from aliexpress in a set and if you all want me to link them let me know in the comment section below
all right you all so moving on to the charms and things like that i'm just pulling out a few little crosses and things like that that i'm thinking about applying to the nail and you all will see that i i'm gonna use a mixture of mccart's ronson glue which is which needs to be cured as well as um zule's um bling adhesive i don't know why i couldn't think just there y'all but and you all will see that I use this type of flashlight. It's like a, a fast or flash cure. Um, just because sometimes when I use that McCart gel, you all know that needs to be cured. But when I have heavier charms and things like that, I like to move around in the lamp and I don't like that. So y'all will see me go in with a little uh, flash cure light to cure it a little bit quickly. And then I will cure the rest of it in the light.
all right you all this is how we are looking these are the finished results i am loving them y'all i think purple is growing on me it's definitely growing on me but anywho this is how we are looking y'all i'm loving the chrome this is a look outside of something i would normally do i was thinking i haven't done any chrome sets for you all so i'm like let me do a chrome set and this was kind of just like literally off the top of my head um so yeah i really like them and i'm gonna go ahead and insert my final um results footage here in a moment All right, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified each and every single time that I post a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.